Okay, let's see what's happening. I, I increased the power on the Roger charger to 10 amps. And I'm just gonna see if the wire from the original charger, which is rated at 3.5 amps, I'm gonna see if that's getting warm still at 10 amps. Okay, that is a little bit warm. Right here. Not hot though, but it's warm. It's having a hard time handling that current, 10 amps. I think current is pressure, right? Does that make sense? Does, does current, pressure, and what is voltage? If current's pressure, what's voltage? Maybe voltage and current are both correct pressure. I don't know. Okay, let's see. We're putting in 700 watts. I'm going to go ahead and lower the power though, just since there's no hurry to charge right now. Since I'm not going to be riding the scooter for a while, at least for a few hours. So I'm going to lower the power down to... We'll put it like around 5 amps, which is 388 watts. So the limitation right now is the wire. I'm using the wire from the original charger. I'll replace that right away with a much thicker wire. But I'm also interested in opening up the battery and watching and checking all the wires inside. I mean, the battery should be able to handle at least 10 amp charge because they sell 10 amp, Vora Motors sells 10 amp chargers. I, they have a variable amperage charger which has 10 amps, <coughs> goes up to 10 amps, if I recall correctly. Double check that for yourself. But, um, but I would like to go to the, the limit and the limit if these are the LG cells that can handle 3.4 amps per cell and they're the 21700 cells then they may be able to take 20 amps possibly, I'm going to test that as an experiment but do, I'm not recommending anybody do that I'm just going to do it myself to see what happens see if it'll charge that fast without getting hot, right? without the cells warming up <coughs> 